Assalamu alaikum, I'm Pavel and I welcome you all to another new video tutorial on Math Olympiad. Today we will solve a problem which is already written on the board as you can see and you might have seen this question in my previous video as well but I didn't discuss about the solution of this particular problem. So we will solve it now. The question reads, a true or false exam has 10 questions. How many possible answer keys are there? Okay. So before going into the details of this particular solution, let me tell you one thing. This uh, problem is pretty easy for the students, those who have some basic knowledge regarding permutation and combination. So for them, the problem will be very, very easy. But for those who do not have some ideas regarding permutation and combination, you might find it a bit difficult. So for those students, uh, I have some solutions. Uh, and I want to add another thing is that I prepare students for Math Olympiad and I have been training students for Math Olympiad for over a decade now. So there I teach students from the very basics of every topic. So if you also want to join the classes, you can uh, follow the procedures that I will be stating in the comment box also in the description so that you can get a complete comprehensive uh, preparation for the upcoming Math Olympiad. So let's get started. At first, we need to make a box with 10 columns. I think by this time you can guess why 10 columns because you have 10 questions right so this is the first thing we need to do and then we will solve with calculating options right so this box is for the first question since this is a true false exam how many possible answers are there for the first question so there are two options because the answer can be either true or false that means there are two possible answers for the first question so two options similarly for the second one how many options are there two options so in this way all the questions have two options each so finally we multiply all of them we will get 2 to the power 10 which is 1024 for some of you who might think this is unrealistic those who do not have the idea of multiplication principle let me show you an example suppose you have two questions then according to this principle how many possible answer keys are there two times two which is equal to four so let me demonstrate this example in details so one of the possible answer key combination might be both of them are true then true false false true and false false so you see there are four possible combinations now if you increase one question then it would be 2 cube which is equal to 8 okay so for four of them the third question their first possible case is that all of them are true and then in the next four combinations all of them will be false so you see there will be eight possible combinations okay but for 10 questions you cannot write all of those you can write but you will require a large paper so i hope that you understood the solution of this question even then if you have some doubts you can ask me on the comment section so we will be ending the video now if you have any queries you can ask me through the comment section as i already mentioned and i will be up uploading more and more videos so till then stay fine allah Hafiz.